I lost track of time. I'd better go and check on my family. Bow and arrows for training in the yard. This past summer, Father and I found a magical glowing rock in the forest. It looked like amber, and now we use it as a nightlight. Handsome bird that gave me a scar on my cheek. Half of the cupboard is full of my creations. I like crafting things out of stuff I find in the woods. A cupboard full of handicrafts. Ellie is in charge of it. I don't know why, but she likes to keep it locked with a key. The mousetrap is ready to strike, luring its victim in with a tasty piece of cheese. Lars, my teddy bear is missing. But you two are inseparable. When did your teddy run off? We were playing hide and seek in the yard. He usually hides behind the well. He thinks that's a good spot, silly teddy. But he's not there today. We'll find him. Don't worry. Hmm, there's only the teddy bear's body here. A mean crowd tore off the teddy bear's head. How can I make it open its beak? Father and I love shooting in the yard. Yesterday I was only a couple of points away from beating him. Did you find Teddy? Not yet. Teddy's an expert at hide and seek. But I'm sure I'll find him. I think the crowd will like a piece of cheese. Now I just need to sew the head back on. Ellie, can I borrow the key to your little cupboard? Maybe. What for? I think it'll speed up the search for your lost teddy bear. Really? All right. Take it. Catch! to tell Ellie the good news. Look who I found behind the haycart. Tell Teddy not to play with crowds again. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Oh, Sam, come here. Yes, father? It's meant to be a cold night. Be a good lad and chop some firewood. Right away, father. My mother's diary. She went missing five years ago, and this is all we have left of her. The way father tells it, mother was a very scholarly, spiritual person. She spent every spare moment in the library. We tried to make sense of her entries, but mother wrote in an ancient language that my grandpa taught her when she was little. One heavy axe. Father wants me to grow up to be like Hercules. 
Just need to carry the firewood into the house and I'm done. Done. Good job, son. Put the firewood in the stack by the fireplace. <sighs> I finished chopping the firewood. Now I can take a break. you. It's me, Marta. Remember how much fun we had playing tag last week? I've come to take you back to your family. I have a present for you. See how the pebbles glow? You'll gain power and become a part of a grand scheme. Come out and try it on. If you don't like it, we'll leave. I promise. Body feels shivery, but in a nice way. I feel like I'm the queen of the world. I am pleased to welcome you, sister. But you're not the only child in the family, correct? That's right. I have a brother. Excellent. Where is he? Here. He's right up there. in a tree hollow nearby, so I'm always on hand whenever I'm needed. A house spirit? I always thought they only existed in fairy tales. My dear Lars, the world is full of magic, but it isn't revealed to everyone. Here, drink this draft of honeyberry. It will calm you and give you energy. Who attacked our house? Oh, Lars. Something terrible has happened. Evil has come to our land. In the last month, children have been going missing, and forest dwellers have been perishing. With a certain diadem, one little girl's mind was enslaved, and now she's gathering a whole army. A diadem? My sister, she just put it on. Dark magic. Now she is in the service of evil. Marta, Dorothy, and now Ellie. Things are getting worse by the day. The mystery lies in the butterflies. They are the ones controlling the forest people's minds while devouring their flesh from within. What do we do? How do we save Ellie? Did you see the giant with Marta? Ellie will probably get something like that as a servant. Simply going in and taking Ellie won't work. We need a plan. Go to the town, find my brother. He lives in the tailor's house. He even helps with the sewing and the housework. And he's awfully inquisitive. He's sure to know more than me. Take him some of my very own homemade mushroom cakes. They're his favorite. Thank you, Bakhtom. It was good to meet you. I'll be waiting for you and Ellie. May the forces of nature help you.
The end of the rope isn't being used for anything. Weird. Somebody must have been in a hurry. They left the jack out in this bad weather. Judging by the sign, this is the tailor's house. I hope they'll be happy to see me here. It looks like the girls beat me to the tailors. I need to take a good look around. The house spirit probably hid in time. That's one huge claw. It looks like the tailor put up a good fight. My personal invention. Great idea! If I attach the pin to the end of a spool of yarn, I'll have a rudimentary fishing rod. Letter from a wood fairy, addressed to the house spirit that lives in the tailor's fireplace. Aha, uh -huh, so the house spirit has a hideaway. I hope he got to it in time. Amazing! With this, I can hook onto something and climb up a little way. Mm -hmm. It's got a good hold. I think I'm going to try climbing up. It's too far. If I try to jump, it might be the last thing I do. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Don't be afraid, I won't hurt you. Come down here. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Come down and have some tasty milk. The poor thing is scared out of its mind. It's even afraid of me. All the scary stuff is over now. Be a good kitty and let me take this little key of you. Hello, I'm Lars. Backthorn told me to find you. Is he... <coughs> Right? Yes, he hid me when I was being chased, and he told me you could help. I have to save my sister. Something terrible has happened to her. Lars, your sister's mind has been possessed by the diadem. I'm afraid that simply taking it off won't be enough. Bakhtorn said you were brave. Well, you're going to need your bravery now. Even my master, the brave Taylor, lost his battle against those creatures. He landed a few good hits, but they just got up and attacked again. I tried to help, but they slashed me with their claws, and I tumbled down into the basement. It seems the girls are hunting boys. 
Yes, they use them as living cocoons to turn larvae into new magical butterflies. The demon himself is harmless. He hides in a <coughs> cave, and little girls do all his <coughs> dirty work for him. You need to hurry. Head east through the forest, and there you'll find the cave. <coughs> But how am I supposed to defeat evil? <coughs> Cassis, I think he's dead. El is being possessed by evil. Who knows where, and I'm stuck here. Father, I have no idea what's wrong with him. <laughs> Lars, keep it together. You're going to find a way to lower the ladder, find the cave, and save your sister. Part of the house spirit's arm has been changed to a prosthesis with a hook on the end. What if this is the key to the way out? Aha! The prosthesis slotted perfectly into the mechanism. Another disappearance today, and who do I see at the scene of the crime? That's why I'm here. Let me go. I'm looking for my sister. Monsters attacked my house. I managed to escape, and now I'm here looking for answers. Ah, misfortunes never come singly. This morning, my sweet, clever princess disappeared. Someone crept into the royal garden, tore a maidservant to ribbons, and kidnapped my daughter. They're attacking the town too. The monsters are being controlled by girls who are possessed by evil. You are better informed than my advisor's boy. Who are you? Your Majesty, my name is Lars. I'm the son of a humble huntsman. All I know is that the evil creature giving orders to the girls is harmless, and it is holed up in a cave somewhere. I'm going there to rescue my little sister. Your words and deeds are worthy of respect, and you are not lacking in courage, I see. I'm willing to do anything for my family. I beseech you, find my daughter. I will grant you half a kingdom, whatever you want. You have my word as king. But... Here, this is her portrait. Please, boy, find her. All right, I'll do my best. My carriage is waiting outside. I'll take you as far as the forest. Time is of the essence. Go, find my little princess. And remember, good always conquers evil. Um, okay. Off with you! Great deeds await! Wait! Many dangers lie ahead of you. Here, take my dagger. Thank you, my king.
strange seat. A sinister idol frozen in an unnatural pose. Although it does blend in perfectly with the creepy surroundings. A weird branch on a hinge and some small hollows. Sorry, little tree, but I need your fruit. So dark. There's a diary. Looks like the owner wrote in it regularly. speak again. Who are you? I am but the part of the great sycamore tree, transformed by my creator into a form in its image. Life dwells within trees, rocks, and every blade of grass, but we are usually not in a form that allows us to converse with humans. Here I am again. Among your kind, so my journey is not yet at an end. Your creator, is this his house? No, he departed this world long ago. Another cabinet maker lives here. He disappeared around a year ago by my reckoning. Though I may have lost track of time while I was standing here. That's sad. Boy, I can see you're lost. Help me, and I will lead you out of the deep woods. Sprinkle that water on me, so that I may walk again. Where can I find it? The owner feared to keep it in the house, so he stored it in the earth next to a fragile little tree.
It would have been foolish to expect a chest full of treasure, but a skeleton? Troop. Um, hello? It should work. That is, of course, as long as the diary wasn't just the mad scribblings of a crazy person. I am ready to serve a new master. The bridge is broken, but there's no other path. serve a new master. to serve a new master. served well. Rest in peace now. I'm starving. Decent folk must live here. I'm sure they won't mind if I ask for some bread. I could do with the energy. I heard a noise at the window. Is somebody knocking to come in? Hello, Granny. I've been wandering in the forest all day and I'm exhausted. Could I trouble you for a small piece of bread? Come in, boy. Eat, rest. I won't do you any harm. In. I have delicious pies. Eat up. What's going on? Isn't it obvious 
We're sunning ourselves while we wait for lunch. Right. And we are lunch. What do you mean? I mean what I said. There'll be soup, casserole, and pies. Not made from pork, but from children. They're on a diet right now. Clearly. Jens really was seriously ill. What are you talking about? There was another boy with us. Jens. All plump and rosy-cheeked. They noticed his right meaty flanks right away. The very first night, he was put on a spit and roasted. But they didn't know that Jens had been sick. They were suffering for days afterward. Then we see the old woman carrying squirrels out of the forest. They must be having squirrel soup to settle their stomachs. But as soon as they feel better, they'll kill us and cook us in a stew. I think that's enough leaves. I need to grind them down and see what I get. The powder has a slight glow and smells faintly of almonds. Could it be? Have I actually made a poison?
You won't be eating anyone ever again, you beast. Run home. This cursed family is at an end. Thank you, boy, but we have no home. We can stay here, chop down all the thorny weeds, fix up the house and live happily. Not a bad idea. Fix the place up a little inside and enjoy life. It's got everything you need. But it's time for me to press on. Farewell. Safe travels. Take care. Little princess, I found you. I have blood on my hands. Again. Did I have a chance to save you? Ellie is in danger. If the girls are hunting in the forest, they could easily become the prey. I need to hurry. Thank you, boy. I didn't mean to... This is crazy. What matters is that we're alive. This isn't the first time I've been hunted. Our forest is governed by the law of the jungle. It's either you or me. They won't catch Yanni Anuers again. What do you think? Should I lay some traps? I think they'll stay clear of this place if you do.
strange boats, and there are no oars. I need to get across the river. Is that your boat on the bank? The boat? No, no, that belongs to the river. How am I supposed to get across to the other side? There are no oars for rowing. The boat, just like the river itself, is enchanted. If you want it to take you across, you need to bring it a gift. Oh, it's you. I'm preparing for the arrival of some visitors. Do you think a concealed pit full of spikes will be enough? I think your visitors will appreciate your efforts. I'm delighted to welcome a traveler to my humble abode. I'll bet you are weary from traveling and wish to rest. Yes, please, follow me. Thank you. You're very kind, but I'm in a big hurry. Forgive my curiosity, but may I ask where you're rushing to? I need to find a cave and find my little sister. An evil spirit has possessed her mind. Hmm. I suppose you're seeking the cave located on that blood-stained island that lies next to ours. You know where it is? Please, show me the way. Only a desperate person seeking death would venture there. The road there is long. The placid river soon becomes a channel of sewage teeming with evil spirits. I will be glad to help you. But I think you will only be up to the task of such a journey after a good night's sleep. Rest now, young man, and after we will equip you with everything you need and send you off in our best boat. People sail to our island so rarely, but we need company in the same way you need air to breathe. Please do us a kindness. Spend a few hours with us. I think I really need to rest for a few hours. Thank you. Please follow me upstairs. I will take you to the best room. Make yourself at home. I will go and see that the boat is made ready. Thank you again. I'll just rest for a short while and then I'll be on my way. As you wish. Rest now, young man. Sleep well.
Can this really be the same cave the house spirit mentioned? Hello, Lars. Why did you run away? Our lands are a dangerous place for a stroll. The forests and rivers are teeming with ruthless creatures. The only ruthless creature here is you. To some I am evil. To others, I am their salvation. You will understand, in time. I never doubted your abilities for a moment. If you did run, it was only so that you could visit me here in person. Welcome to my home, Lars. You have become a man. The local population have gifted you some handsome silver in your hair. Stop stalling! Where's Ellie? Let her go now! Ellie is safe. The cave is sealed against unwanted visitors. Oh, you are in here. We've been looking for you everywhere. Don't be afraid. Come to us. What on earth? Why should I go with them? What dark ritual are they so eager to perform on me? Maybe Ellie is somewhere nearby. I need to search the island. So many books, carefully stacked and stuffed with bookmarks. Tales from the treasure box? I... I know that book. 
Mother used to read it to me when I was little. A butterfly? That means there must be a girl here too. It looks like totally ordinary black tea. I wonder if the larvae have a vulnerability. Right now, this monster is happily sitting inside a boy, eating him from the inside out, but what if we put it inside something hot or acidic? It looks like I picked a ripe fruit. So that's how bloodthirsty butterflies come into the world. Black tea flavored with unknown mushrooms. Uh, 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 no use. It's not sleeping, it's waiting to be brought to life. Without the butterflies, it's just a big scary ragdoll. I feel like I'm being turned inside out. How are you? Feeling better? Maybe. I don't know. I'm shivering. All my muscles are cramping. I've got stabbing pains in my stomach. How did you end up here? Do you remember anything? <laughs> I have no idea where I am, but I remember her face clearly. Very young, but with an obvious furrow between her brows. As if this little girl is always frowning, even in her sleep. She watched me behind the tree for a long time. And after that, it's all a blur. Uh, her face is so close. She's reaching out to me. Something cold and terrifying is holding my face from behind and a little girl with a sweet smile lays something horrible on my tongue. Then there's a loud snap and... It's such a strange memory. The whole world seemed to drain of color and I couldn't even close my eyes. I was just a witness, trapped in my own body. All my senses shut down until only my sight remained, and then it slowly faded away. I saw a forest and even a small river before my eyes were completely covered in a white film. Sorry, I completely forgot to thank you. Did you kill the girl? No, it seems she's gone off on her next hunt. Staying here is dangerous. We need to leave. Thank you. I don't know how to thank you. I'll rest a little while longer, and then I'll go. Another monster in the service of evil. It might have been guarding something important.
Hmm, is it all to do with the magic jar? Or did the butterfly think I was the owner because I'm the first person she saw? I hope this goon thinks I'm the new owner. Hello, Lars. How do you know my name? Open the door. Why try to stave off the inevitable? Gran will soon have me untied, and together, we'll all go to see our mistress. I already met two boys upstairs. I don't think they were too glad to have met you. Pay no mind to them. They are just waste material. You have a very different role to play. All the girls were ordered to bring you in alive and unharmed. I wonder what fate awaits me. We do not know. Lars, we simply serve and carry out the orders of our mistress. What's your name? Who were you before? My name is Sophie. I am a miller's daughter. Well, I was. Our wonderful community began with me. Tell me about it. I want to know everything. I have nothing to hide. The mistress spoke to me in the forest, around a year ago now. First, she taught me about creation and the cosmos. I finally got answers to questions that had plagued me since childhood. Questions that confounded my father. And during one visit, the mistress took me to an abandoned house, where I made the first diadem following her instructions. Fusing her consciousness with my own. Let me free you before your mind is lost forever. The stained glass is blindingly beautiful. A broad spruce tree, a fire-breathing dragon, a brave knight, and a tall tower. It's a pity it's so dark here.
I can see you. You're everywhere. We didn't dare hope we could communicate with a living creature. Who are you? My name is Lars. I'm searching for my little sister. We know of your plight. The whole forest suffers, but we... We are the guardians of the forest. Since time immemorial... We have guarded our land against evil. But now we are just puppets in the claws of a sorceress. She turned us into weapons that savagely wiped out all the denizens of the forest. A sorceress? So it's not a demon? She is a human being, or rather she once had a human form. Now she lives as a butterfly. I met her recently. In a cave. You were lucky to still be alive. She uses boys as cocoons for her larvae, which grow into bloodthirsty butterflies. The girls used them to take over our bodies. A butterfly can easily control the mind and body of the creature it inhabits, slowly eating it from the inside out. We have already lost hope of ever returning to our mutilated bodies. All we want is to save our forest. But... how? There is a wizard in these lands. He is already very old, and we are not even sure if he still lives. Five years ago, it was he who turned the sorceress into a butterfly. But even in that harmless form, she managed to acquire dark power. And immediately after those events, the wizard fell into a deep depression and retreated into seclusion somewhere in the swamp. Go to him. Perhaps you are the one destined to play a decisive role in saving the forest. For it is not by chance that you came to be here and were able to speak to us. Outside you will find a well. It is a magical system we built for moving around the forest. sense our meeting will soon be ended. Boy, you hold not only your sister's fate in your hands, but the fate of the whole forest as well. I fear you are the only one who has come this close to finding the answer. You must see this mission through to the end. Good luck. You have a brave heart. You will save us.
It's been so long since I met another person in these desolate, gloomy places. Another few moments, and we would never have met. Hello, I'm... Boy, I have an unspoken agreement with the locals to maintain peaceful relations with them. The entire swamp is full of vile, soulless creatures. One of which just tried to catch you for its dinner. Sorry. Never mind. Sometimes you need to remind these beasts who rules the swamp. Why did you choose to live in such an awful place? I wanted to be alone. The natural surroundings here act as a barrier against the outside world. But, by some miracle, you managed to reach my house. I presume you have not come to these green parts for no reason. I came to ask for help. The sorceress you turned into a butterfly has gained power and has possessed my sister's mind. She wants to destroy the whole forest. The spirit said that only you can stop her. I couldn't back then. And I won't be able to this time, either. What that loss has done to you. My beautiful daughter, who was so capable from such a young age, is the butterfly. It all began when she was a child. Wolves savaged her mother during a walk in the forest. And my daughter only survived thanks to a passing hunter. 
That experience changed her deeply. She came to hate the forest and swore to destroy all its inhabitants in the most painful way. We no longer spoke. She spent all her time engrossed in dark tomes, creating spells. Time passed, and for a moment, I thought my little girl had forgotten her terrifying plans. She married, had children, and then the forest made itself known once more. Her son was attacked by a bear. The beast only slightly wounded the child, but that was enough to awaken the evil slumbering within her. I noticed the change, and I realized I had to act. The only thing I could do was transform my daughter into a harmless creature, a butterfly, for instance. She loved butterflies when she was little. And then I had to lock her in the magical cage that would drain her dark power and bring peace to her troubled soul. Forever. I could not bring myself to put her in the cage. Your story, it's making me feel... strange. But does that mean you still have the cage and we can save the forest? Yes, I still have it. You only need to open the cage next to her. The magic will do the rest. Do you know where my daughter is now? I came across her in the cave. Say no more. Now, focus and think of that place. My boy, you have returned. It's so wonderful to see the whole family reunited. Father, what's going on? My son, we thought your poor mother died, but we were wrong. She took on a different form, but even in this incredibly fragile body, she was able to find us and reunite our family. Lars, look at the amazing crown we prepared specially for you. You have spent long enough rolling in the dirt with the rabble, my boy. Now the time has come to rule. Mother... But all these killings... It's madness! The girls are only cleansing the forest of its blight. I need a clean slate on which we can build our wonderful new world together. What is that strange cage you're holding? Mother... Forgive me. This cage is for you. Son, put the cage down. Papa, please, wake up. We know killers. Brother, don't do anything foolish. I don't want to lose mother all over again. You don't know what you're doing. Our mother is gone.
mother, will I forget who I am? Don't be afraid, my son. You will not forget yourself. Let me help you become older and wiser. Mama, I missed you. My little one, come over to us.